Greetings YouTubers, this is Hellshade2. This video is entitled, An Experiment. Now, I was just watching a video by Atheism is, Lo Atheism, Atheism is Logic, 65, called, Criti a, critiquing, a Critique of the Bible's Credibility. Okay? I thought it was a good video. It gave a brief timeline of the different translations of the Bible over these over the centuries and this had brought me back to a talk I had with another youtuber about how the Bible itself could have been changed and rewritten at times possibly over the centuries maybe knowingly or unknowingly due to the translation or other reasons and it brings to mind a little bit of an experiment Okay, that, that can be probably very easily tried by most people. Now, this now is being how the experiment would run. You would take a piece of paper, write a small story, okay? Half a page, a couple of paragraphs, maybe a whole page. Depends how you feel about it. Now, you write that story down, okay? Maybe you make it just, no, maybe half a page. No, it's not that long, you know, make it a little easier. Get maybe six to ten friends together. Tell them you'd like them to be part of an experiment. And this is what you how you would handle it. Now you can't tell the people involved what the experiment is exactly about. What you can tell them is that they'll each be numbered one to six or one to ten or how many people you have. And the first person you'll tell your story to. Okay? Now, within two to three days, now, he, now you can't, he can't write it down, they can't do anything like that. They have to listen to what you tell them verbally, try to remember it, and then pass that on. It, it, tell that same story to the next person in the line within two to three days. That person must do the same to the third person in the line. Within two to three days, retell that story. And so far it goes down the line. So once you get to the end of that line, the last person, okay, writes down the story, okay, as it was told to him by the last person before him in line, and gives you back that piece of paper that he's wrote, written down as what the story is, and make a comparison between your, your copy and that person's copy, and see what differences are there. I mean, you, uh, the, the way this could work, you might find elements in that story that weren't in your story originally. And you might find things that were left out. But the theory behind this is how, in like an oral retelling, how things can be added and lost, okay, over a period of time. Either by people not remembering everything, or somebody wanting to think of the story is just boring and add something to embellish it a little, to make it a little more exciting, let's say. You know? But think about this, pass on your comments, and I think this is actually a pretty good experiment. It would probably work. It might get, you know, maybe maybe my idea of it is a little rough right now, but I, I think it I think I think it would probably you no know, give you a good sounding board for just how much translations and uh such over time can be very much colored by people, memory, and opinions, and such. But that's what we got for that. So uh, have a good day, and thanks for watching.